I'm Father Samira Fonseca, OMI. I'm in charge of the home for the technical school boys at Magona. This is called St. Vincent's Technical School, which gives uh, resident facilities and vocational training to the delinquent boys, especially those who are uh, least privileged of Sri Lanka. They come from all over the Sri Lanka, all over Sri Lanka, from different parts of the country, uh, who have been uh, less privileged and also who have uh, lost their uh, uh, opportunities to uh, do their education and uh, do have well-being. And uh, my focus of attention is today is uh, uh, the literacy. Sri Lanka is well known as 100% literal uh, people are available in Sri Lanka. But uh, for my knowledge, to my knowledge, uh, there are plenty of children who are least literate. And uh, in my experience, I have observed plenty of children who have come from streets, from shanties, from rural areas, uh, from a coastal belt. They come, at least they don't know how to tell their name, how to write their name. So uh, how do they live their life next? Therefore, in our <coughs> schedule, we have planned a uh, lot of uh, programs to give them uh, uh, little facilities. No. Ma, na, de, e, ba. Make <laughs> I'm Anna Stephen Andrew, a resource person. Uh, I'm privileged to conduct a lot of programs with the Ceylon Bible Society and I have identified a very critical and a crucial problem in our society as a uh, Sunday school teacher in my area around Colombo. Those who are living in the coastal line, most of the children, they don't have the proper facility to educate themselves. Uh, at, at least by up to 8 or 9 grade, they sometimes feel it difficult to read, write and understand and express their beliefs and ideas. So there is a huge need in our society to uplift the literacy rate, though it is uh, in a high rate. Uh, we can see in all our national uh, statistics, when it comes to the reality, I have found a lot of children, because of this uh, problem, they don't have proper access to uh, read, write and understand. So because of that reason, they, uh, by the age of 10, sometimes 12, they leave the school and back into the society without any hope about the future. Hi, Inkyan. 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 Hi, Inkyan.
My name is Anusha Malkanti. I'm 40 years old. It's been 20 years since I have been married. I have six children. My husband's name is Oshuda Pereira. He doesn't have a proper job. My husband is addicted to drugs. I'm trying to change. My main concern is to give a good education for my six children. They are studying at St. Anthony's College. What grade are they? My eldest son is grade 11. My eldest daughter is in grade 9. My second daughter is in grade 8. My third daughter is in grade 6. My second son is grade 4. And my youngest daughter is in preschool. I try to provide my children with the best things, but I, things, but I find it difficult. We don't have electricity or water. We don't have toilets in our house. But somehow I take my children to school amidst of facing these challenges. I want to see my children in the best position. That is my hope. I uh, hope that we'll be able to do something and take some action to uh, facilitate them to come to a better uh, uh, literacy rate. Thank you very much and God bless you. Now I also bless and uh, wish, him, wish uh, Ceylon Bible Society all the good, uh, all the blessings for their endeavor in uh, supporting the literacy of the children of Sri Lanka. They may flourish in this mission and uh, let the children who have least privilege earn this uh, great opportunity. God bless you.